Hello guys, good evening, and obviously it's dark. I'm in my room right now. I'm sorry, I apologize. I don't have my ring light here, and um, I'm just lazy to go out and go to the where the room where I take videos. Okay, tonight I'm gonna um transfer some of my workout uh stuffs or workout apparatus from my workout bag to to this Speedy Forty Speedy Forty. Um, that I purchased from the foreign objects. So this is my workout bag, okay? Um, and this is heavy, okay? I have a lot of stuffs here. Everything here is related to my job. Workout, um, workout stuffs. This is my um, gadgets, okay? Where my iPods, my music stuffs, um, charger, okay? Sometimes I put my AirPod there. Of course, this is my big wallet. Um, this is some like, you know, stuffs like sanitizer, um, other personal stuffs or wipes. This is some of my mini makeup, okay, makeup, my old uh, Prada pouch. Um, this is a makeup remover, which is, to be honest, I don't use this because I <laughs> remove my makeup because I don't wear makeup like that in the gym. I just use powder and a little um, eyebrow thing and lip tint. And whatever I use for the lip tint, I use for my, my cheek. Um, and also, of course, water. It's empty now, but I have that in case I need water there. Um, this is my eyewear. Okay, this is an uh, extra charger. Okay, protein bar and other stuffs there, whatever. Um, here is, of course, my AirPod. I have two AirPods. Okay. And then, um, this is a yoga uh, shoes to wear um, where I use that for bar yoga Pilates okay car keys um, what else oh this is a karambit this is for self-defense um, yeah and in the other side here is where I put my notes okay notes for my work like uh, I mean uh, it's a notebook okay and That's where my, my, my clients' details, measurements, and stuff like that. Um, pen. And, um, well, this is a um, supposed to be a, for self-defense too. Pepper spray. Um, what else in here? Yeah, okay. This is a measurement. Okay. This is a wipe, white wipe. If ever I need a paperwork to fill in and um, I wrote wrong. Okay. All right. So... These are all my stuffs in my workout bag. All right. Now, estimated weight on my bag is it's it's heavy, guys. So it's gonna be around 20, 25 pounds. Usually, I carry that every day. Okay. Now I want to transfer that and see how it it goes on the Speedy Forty. Okay. So this is Speedy Forty which is I did an unboxing video the other day. If you watched or if you haven't watched and if you're curious about my unboxing video and where I purchased it and all some details, um, just go ahead and check my um, check my past videos, okay? So that's a Speedy 40. I have a Speedy 30 too, guys. Um, so I'll do some uh, comparison later on, video on that. So, if you compare the Speedy 40 to my workout bag, the size, see, it's kind of the same, to be honest. The size, okay? The length, right? To be honest, it seems like the Speedy 40 is much longer, right? Okay? So, the goal here is to see what fits on the speedy 40 but i know everything fits it's just that we need i need to i need to just estimate because i want to wear i want to wear this tomorrow to the gym and i want to know how this perform with all the stuffs here and if i am really want to put all this stuffs here here all right so let's see all right guys so let's start to transfer all this stuffs okay um here's my speedy 40 so this is my makeup wallet um other um sanitizer and other personal hygiene stuffs this is pouch for the gadgets 
which I will put also here my um, two AirPods. Okay. Um, look, I'm gonna dig in first or put first for me the most important that I really need at work or like basically I'm gonna use for tomorrow only. Okay, because sometimes some days I don't need certain stuffs. Um, so I will just put to more up the stuffs that I need for tomorrow. Okay, so this is workout gloves. Okay, so when you will use weights, it will not damage your ring or skin. Okay, I have this perfume. Okay, I always carry my Car Carolina Herrera perfume. Okay, this is my favorite perfume, guys. Now, also. This is Louis Vuitton and Pashada leather is very sensitive and also when you put something there like water, even perfume, any liquid, it will stain. So you have to be careful what you put there. And I know this one is okay and I don't have leaking on this so I can put it here. Also my water bottle, I put it here. But again guys, be careful with your water bottle or water, any container that has liquid, okay? Make sure it's, you know, secure. Key. The disadvantage only on this, there's no side pockets. So everything must go inside. Unlike the workout bag, there's a lot of side pockets that you can use. So you can dig in quick your stuff that you need quick, like keys or anything for self-defense, right? Okay. All right. Now, of course, my protein bar. Now, tomorrow guys it's um i'm not gonna i'm gonna teach pilates tomorrow but i don't have to have the sock the socks or yoga sleeper because i can just take off my shoes um and wear socks it's not that complicated so i'm not gonna bring my yoga shoes and i don't have a measurement tomorrow a client measurement tomorrow so i will not gonna bring my notes for my personal training client so i'm not gonna bring pen or whatever Oh, oh, I have a pen. It's in my, I have an extra pen on my big wallet. I always put, I always bring pen there for signing papers and stuff like that. Okay. Makeup remover there. But sometimes really I don't need that. But makeup remover is easily to remove stains. So you never know. Sometimes we have women saying that we needed to have stain removal. <laughs> or any stain on the clothes. You know how women are. We, we like to keep our clothes clean. And this charger, it's okay. I have extra chargers in my bag. Um, I don't need that. So basically, um, oh, my shades. Okay, so there. So I left um, some stops here, not too much. Um, but basically, you know, basically probably this is around five pounds left here. And this one, this is everything. Okay, probably this is around 20, 20 pounds or more. I don't know. But... This one, it still have a weight, like 5 pounds. Okay? So, tomorrow, guys, um, we will see how this performs. And we will see if it goes well or if it's worth to use as a workout bag. Or it's just okay for traveling to put clothes. So, tomorrow, I'm going to update you tomorrow how this Speedy 40 works and how this if it, it if I'm okay with it or if it works right for me, okay? So, stay tuned. Hold on. I'm using today the LV Speedy 40. It's a vintage and I purchased it from Foreign Object, okay? Um, I met or saw them on TikTok. Now, I also have this nylon strap, also um, Louis Vuitton nylon strap. Um, I ordered it from Second Love Luxury um, site, which is also I saw them on TikTok. Now, this is a nylon strap, which is, it's better than fascetta leather. Fascetta is this one, if you don't know, okay? It's just an update. Um, that's just a recap. So, this is better because, you know, especially in rougher situation or in much more um, situation that 
you will be with like me i'm i'm going to the gym i'm going to work out and i sweat so of course if you use fascetta as a strap then you might discolor that because of the water penetration so anyway guys so so far i have a lot of things to consider when using this um first i might just use this if i go to the gym if i don't have a whole day activity or whole day work because sometimes like saturday i only go to the gym one once for the for or two uh for two gyms but for personal training and uh, group class, which is not as bad because I can just put a little stops in the bag or I don't have to be in a rough situation like looking a lot of stops in my purse, okay? Like I don't have to bring my notes for my personal training, um, uh, finding a lot of, like let's just say yoga shoes um, and stuff like that, okay? So I, for me... It's good. It's it's fancy, you know. People will look at you. Oh, she has LV bag for workout clothes, uh, for workout for workout day. I mean, you know. But for me, it's not practical to be honest. Especially if you are trying to hurry, find your keys, find this, find that. Because you know, if workout bags, there's a lot of in pockets outside that you can just grab your key, grab your uh, pen, grab your notes. Especially me, it's my job. You know, I just don't go here just to, you know, dress up and to work out. You know, I, I do a lot of stuff as, as a personal trainer, nutrition coach, and a group instructor. But anyhow, um, I, I didn't find it really that difficult because um, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's okay. You know, I mean, it's not perfect or it's not something that uh, I'm not going to use it anymore. Or, oh, it's amazing. I'm going to use it. It's okay. It depends on the situation, depends on what you're going to do in the gym. It depends on stuff that you are doing, okay? Now, again, you also, you cannot just leave your bag everywhere, especially if you're if the gym that you go to are not the trustworthy place to go. Or maybe if you don't have your own um, place to put your stuff. Again, this is LV, guys. You know, um, it's expensive. You know, you have to be careful with your leather. Uh, you just you just cannot put it down to the floor like a typical workout bag, okay? Because me, my workout bag, I just throw it everywhere, you know. But this one today, I just have to be careful where I put it. I have to look at the stuffs, the the uh, the cabinet where I put it or the chair where I put it, if there's no stain, if there's no water in it. So, you know, you, you always have to think um, what ahead of time. Also, the water bottle, you cannot just put random your water bottle in your bag as, you know as a gym goer we need water hydrate and keep in mind again water stains your fascia leather leather you know you cannot just um you cannot just put your water there just like that you have to close your bottle properly or if as possible be aware and be conscious about water and um condensation around your bottle so that it will not stain or in, especially inside your bag okay of course you can put a lot of stuff um uh to cover your bag inside you can purchase a lot of that in amazon a divider but again sometimes you know when you're in hurry you cannot think about that having a workout bag only for the gym is really easy you know you just have to throw it everywhere you don't have to worry about it different from louis vuitton of course also um also, when you shower or you sweat, you have to be conscious and be careful that the water or the sweat won't hit your bag. Again, finding your keys. If I, you know, the good thing about it is because my car is I have uh, um, automated, like automatic. Like you know, when you come closer, it knows it's you because the key is in your bag. It's the key is with you, so it opens immediately for you. It's automatic key. Now, if I use the other car of mine that I have to get my key and open it um you know or to, to press the button then that's another thing and that's kind of hassle especially you have to dig in in your bag even if you say you have a separate purse for your key separate purse for this for your wallet for your um music for your notes it's still different because you have to dig in again unlike my other my other bag workout bag i always put the key on the side pocket so i can just grab it so quick okay so again in case of emergency you cannot be that quick so carrying wise, I don't have problem carrying this, especially if with that with that strap or even in elbow carry. I really don't have issue with it. It's comfortable, to be honest. Um, I think you you will just so cost conscious and worry that it might because it's LV. So you you're in your mind. Okay, if I put too much stuff there, will it handle? Will it break? Will it you know tear up? I mean, so far I mean you know my bag is heavy. Okay, and it's heavy how many pounds though i remove a lot i didn't put a lot of stuff here compare 
uh, to my regular workout bag. It's it's I didn't put all stuffs here that some are still in my workout bag because today I don't have some workout. I don't need those other stuff. So why carry it? Plus, there's no other div dividers inside. So I don't want it too much crap and have to dig in because I'm already digging in now. What more other stuff's in there? Okay. But still, it's heavy. Okay. Um, I have a big wallet. My wallet is heavy, to be honest. Um, but I'm not, I'm not uncomfortable carrying it with this strap with this trap um so you know anyway um also for the fashara fasha leather this one i got this one of, of course as a protector it's almost same color as the the handle of course i got it from amazon i already posted about that um where i got that in youtube um yeah okay but, but again yeah i got it from amazon and it's really nice because it's really really leather it's leather it's inside there's a um it's kind of like suede or kind of like leather really you know like that and it's really too it's 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 soft to hold okay though the problem on this also it moves around because it's not tight but i'm okay with it see it, it moves around so i can slide in slide back okay i can slide back also see that but it's okay it's no big deal okay i mean i can adjust with that but I like the handle, to be honest. It's soft in the hand. There's no issue, okay? Um, I got, again, I got it from Amazon. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff. You know, of course, the foreign objects also gave me this. A uh, lock keys. Um, I, you know, I didn't use that. Um, you know, that's just for me. That's just for this, a pretty design. Look fancy. Um, again, I'm, I'm, again, I'm conscious where I put my bag. And also, uh, the place I go, the gyms that I go, um, are, you know, fancy or elite place so you don't have to worry if somebody will steal your bag okay so i'm not sure with other gyms so unless your eyes is always on your bag then you're sure you're okay but if not then you know even if you have a locker if if that gym or place is not safe somebody can still sit steal it right so again guys yeah that's that's my thing about the lv speedy 40 i still use it to be honest i will still use it i love it to be honest you, you know it makes you feel oh I have lv as a workout but, but but again practicality counts it's not okay and if you're trying to hurry it's not because you're you might you know again you it's a bag again it can be ripped if you will be so hard on it when you pull it and like it's just typical workout uh, workout bag you don't care it's not that expensive so even if you snap it you pull it or whatever you drop it doesn't matter it's okay but otherwise i love my speedy 40 and um the, basically you know i would love to use it also in traveling and you know put all your put your stuff there in, in fairness to it speedy 40 is best size to be honest for me in the gym to wear because it's not too long okay i thought it's too much small but it's not like it's it actually it's the same size to be honest with the workout typical workout bags and of course it's louis vuitton guys louis vuitton makes quality bags they make it so good so even if we're paranoid because we're carrying louis vuitton and we're scared to get to, to hurt the bag in the end of the day it's a good bag it's a high quality bag it it lasts long that's why it's expensive that's because they use a good material they make it really really good especially the vintage one vintage one is really so i suggest guys buying louis vuitton for certain stuffs buying vintage is is the best option because i don't know why even in other brands like chanel and stuff like that vintage is the best because they make it way 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 better and the quality is way better and the material is way better so that's it, guys. That's my review for um, my Speedy 40 if you can use it in the gym. Again, as a recap, yes, you can use it as, the gym, as in the gym. But again, it's not as versatile, but it's not as, um, you know, in case of emergency or, or fast-paced life, fast-paced activity in the gym, like going from one place to another, teach here, teach there, you know, in terms of putting your stuff um and uh, security in, in terms, um, you know, again, you, you'll never know who will steal your bag, you know. But anyway, guys, that's it, you know. So that's my review. But anyhow, again, I'm still going to use it in the gym because I love it. But in not as busy days, okay. But anyway, guys, again, this is Coach Angel back. And that's my review on Vintage Speedy 40. And yeah, again, I got it from foreign objects and this strap 
I got it from Second Luxury um, Bags, Second Luxury Boutique, and all of those companies, Foreign Objects and Second Luxury Boutique, you can find both, uh, uh, both of them on TikTok. And again, this handle here, I got it from Amazon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if this video helps you. Anyway, for more questions, just don't hesitate to message me. Thank you.